welcome back to part two of the DVD haul that I got through Movie Free Bazaar. Uh, we just got, well, I just finished recording the first part of the DVDs. This is what that, that the first video that I uploaded is one week's worth of DVDs. Uh, there were also horror movies spliced in between, but um, Macabro's back from hell, so he wants to do the horror movie, so that's that here for him. So I'll continue with the other stuff that I picked up through Movie Freak. And I, I did go a little overboard, uh, admittedly, uh, these two weeks, but uh, I didn't buy anything the week of Christmas and New Year's, so I saved a little bit of money so when he did come back I would splurge and splurge I did. But the, the prices are really, really low and uh, he had some really cool stuff that I wanted, so let's continue. Uh, this is, an it sounded interesting, because um, I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with uh, the story of A Wonderful Life. Uh, it's about uh, the guy that's shown an alternate reality where he didn't exist. Uh, there's a, another kind of version of that that I enjoy called The Family Man with Nicolas Cage. Uh, that one, he's this big successful um, asshole. Uh, and then he's visited by an angel, and he's shown the life he would have had had he gone left instead of right. You know, had he settled down with uh, the love of his life instead of, you know, foregoing all of that and, uh, you know, going for money and fame and stuff like that. So it, it's a story that gets repeated a lot, but I saw this one, and this is like the family man, but the religious. Uh, version of it, uh, but sorry, Karen, Kevin Sorbo. This is what if uh, I didn't know this until uh, later because uh, I find out about those these religious movies through uh, the Cinema Snob and the Brad Jones Midnight Reviews. He does this series of movie reviews, and that's where I got introduced to Kirk Cameron Saving Christmas. Like I said. And a whole bunch of other, like, God's Not Dead and stuff like that. Uh, he didn't do a review on this one, but I became aware of it um, because of that. So, I know it's, it's like, uh, The Family Man, but the religious equivalent of it. And uh, Kevin Sorbo is also this big su successful guy that is shown by an angel that what his life would be like. And he gets to live in that universe uh, if he had gone with his childhood sweetheart. But it's the religious version of the family man so i was like that sounds interesting because <laughs> i really like the family man i think it's really good so i, I was like why not <laughs> let's let's check this out and uh, we'll see how it is uh this one i've always seen the snapper case release of this but this time movie freak bizarre had a uh an actual like uh dvd case And this is the Pelican Brief, uh, starring Denzel Washington and Julia Roberts. Um, I'm not super big into Julia Roberts. I like her brother better. Uh, I think he's a better actor than Julia Roberts, but Julia Roberts just exploded. I like her in, in Flatliners, and uh, I think she was good in that, but not the biggest Julia Roberts fan. I picked it up because of Denzel Washington. Uh, she also did another one with Mel Gibson that I need to track down, but only because of Mel Gibson. Um, I'm, I think I'm really close to completing my uh, Jason Statham collection. Um, might be missing one or two, I'm definitely missing The Meg, but besides that I might be missing one more movie. Um, thanks to crossing off this one, and I picked this one up because of the cast. Um, but yeah, this is 13 with Jason Statham and Mickey Rourke. Uh, don't know much about this one. Uh, it has 50 Cent too. There's 50 Cent. And uh, the guy that played the crow in uh, Maleficent. So yeah, don't know anything about this movie. I don't know if it's any good, but um, it's Jason Statham and it will go in my Jason Statham collection. Uh, Blind by Bob, I like it, Harris, and it has Joaquin Phoenix, who has always been a good actor, uh, but really blew it out of the park with the Joker. 
Uh, but also has Anna Packin, who played Rogue in X-Men, and she was in uh, True Blood. And this is Buffalo Soldiers. I picked it up just because of the cast. I don't think I've ever seen this movie, or maybe I did. Uh, but I'll have to watch it and make sure. Uh, if you grew up in the rental age, you probably know Christopher Lambert. Uh, definitely if you watch Highlander. He's, he's best known for Highlander. Uh, he was also in the first Mortal Kombat movie. He played Raiden, and I love Christopher Lambert in Mortal Kombat, but I don't have that many Christopher Lambert movies, and uh, I saw this and I picked it up. Druids. Blind Buy totally just picked it up because of Christopher Lambert. Uh, picked this one up, and um, I'm a little weird about this one. <laughs> uh, Stations of the Cross. Um, it's about this girl that whose brother has cancer, I think, and um, because she wants to save him, she is willing to follow the ordeals that Jesus uh, went through uh, as a means to like sacrifice herself so that her brother will be okay. It sounds interesting. It's a foreign movie. It's a German movie. and uh, But it might be a downer. And if she goes all the way through, is she going to, like, you know, crucify herself? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It sounded interesting when I was... Because uh, this is one of the movies... I mentioned before, uh, Movie Freak Bazaar has a deal where you can buy five movies for a certain price, ten movies for a lower price. And uh, usually I, I always pick up the ones that I want, and then I might come across one or two slots that I need to complete the ten. This was one of the those uh, slots. I don't know how this movie is going to be. <laughs> Uh, this might be really good, thought-provoking, or it might really be like, uh, uh, I don't know. I am looking to seeing this because I'm curious how that movie is. Uh, this I've been looking for for a while because I do remember seeing this, but uh, I've been trying to track it down. Finally found a copy because one time I did see it in the flea market, but it was all scratched to hell. I actually didn't check. Oh yeah, it's minty. Uh, but it's another uh, Christopher Lambert movies. Christopher Lambert movie, Fortress. Uh, this is pretty cool. It's like uh, in the future, but uh, he's in this prison and uh, it says in the year 2017, which we already passed, one corporation is building a fortress for the ultimate takeover, your mind. Uh, I remember this being really good, and I, I, I've been trying to track it down for a while, and I finally have a copy. Uh, just good, good stuff. It, uh, again, it has the uh, the guy from uh, RoboCop, and uh, who played the dad in that 70s show. Uh, at least I, I think it's him. Yeah, it's Kurt Wood Smith. Yeah, and uh, it's directed by Stuart Gordon, uh, who did Reanimator. Uh, yeah, if you can try down a copy, I would highly recommend it. So I like this movie, so fun to get that. Uh, picked up The Beach, special edition with Leonardo DiCaprio. This is one that he has actually brought a bunch of times on the albums. But every time I want to get it, people beat me to it. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> and, but finally was able to get a copy for myself. Uh... To the best of my knowledge, this thing does not have a Blu-ray release. I know if because there's no interest on it or because uh, rights issue, but there's two versions that I know of. There's the regular DVD release with no special features, and then the, uh, the special edition one that has uh, uh, director commentary by, by Danny Boyle, nine deleted scenes, a music video, storyboard, TV trailers, which is something that all DVDs should have. All DVDs and Blu-rays should have the, the, the trailers. Like, God damn it, that's something that really bugs me. That uh, the majority of the DVDs that I own do not have the trailers. And that's a big 
part of a movie's history. You know, uh, it's what gets you hyped to either watch the movie or be interested in going to see the movie. Like in the video store age, there was a lot of uh, movies that didn't get theatrical releases, so the cover art would sell you on it. But on movies that did get a theatrical release, the trailers is the first thing you watch. You would go watch the movies and they would show you a couple of trailers and you would watch the trailers and, and that looks like shit or that looks really interesting. So it really, really bugs me that I'll, I, I would say like 90% of the DVDs that I own don't have the freaking trailers. It's mind boggling and really annoying that the trailers aren't there. So. Uh, the fact that this thing does have the trailers is, is a big plus. That's really cool. It also has the TV spots, which is another thing that's really appreciated. So, so yeah, a lot of special features. And again, to the best of my knowledge, it has never gotten a Blu-ray release. So that's cool. Uh, picked up Gran Torino. Um, I was holding out because, I, one, I was pretty sure I already owned this movie. It's one of those situations where... I thought I already bought it through Movie Freak, or um, I bought it on a flea market, or I was sure I already had it. And uh, I was going through the, uh, uh, updating my DVD list, I have a worksheet with all the DVDs that I own, and I couldn't find it anymore, I was like, well that's weird, I probably just deleted it, or uh, I forgot to add it in when I bought it uh, sometime. Uh, but then I was going through the movies that I have. And uh, I didn't see it, and I was like, I probably misplaced it, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I tried looking through all the all the old uh, DVD updates, and I couldn't find uh, me talking about this one. So I was like, God damn it! It's probably one of those situations where I thought I had it, and I don't. So I finally uh, picked down a widescreen edition. And the other reason is that um, because I already thought I had it, I was waiting for a, a maybe a two disc set. But this thing apparently did not get a two disc set, so so yeah. But it's another situation that does not come with the freaking trailers. But um, I like to, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I, 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 I have this weird thing where I try to associate movies with other movies. I think of it this like Dirty Harry is retired and he's just living a normal life and stuff happens. Because it really feels like Dirty Harry. <laughs> But uh, it's a, it's not. It's a different character, and, and the way he goes out is very honorable, and uh, it's a good movie. I really like this one. Uh, this one is pretty good. But again, was super sure I had. It. Same thing happened, and, and and I need to track that one down because I was dead sure I had Multiplicity, the um, oh, I forgot his name, <laughs> uh, Michael Keaton, the Michael Keaton movie, where he clones himself and. Uh, and all the clones have different personality traits. I, I was dead sure I already had that movie. But again, I'm going through my list. I'm going through my movies. And I don't have it. So, I don't know. Now I got to track down a copy of Multiplicity. But I finally have Grab Torino. Uh, Blind Buy, it, it sounded interesting. Which is why I, I bought it. Uh, Banshee. It's about this car thief that... Um, ends up stealing the car of a serial killer. So now, but she also leaves her ID, so the serial killer's after her and he frames her. And now she has to outrun the cops, uh, the mob boss, I think uh, the mob boss who whose car she, one of her cars she stole, and the, the serial killer. So it sounds interesting, uh, sounds like a really uh, fast paced movie, so hopefully it's good. Uh, picked up The Dog Who Saved Christmas. Um, I don't know. It, it it might be good. I missed out on he had a the one called the dog who saved Halloween, which I was gonna get because it's a Halloween movie. But um, someone beat me to it, and this one is like, well, it's not happening again. So I picked up the dog who saved Christmas. Uh, it doesn't look like it's a religious movie. So it looks, looks like a child movie with, with dogs. Uh, picked up the interpreter. Uh, this is a movie that I, I I don't know I've always skipped. It's it's not a bad movie. It's actually a pretty good thriller, but I don't know I, I I always skip it. I always skip it. I always skip it. I never get it, and I finally decided to get it because it's really good. Uh, Nicole Kidman's really good in it. Sean Penn is good in it, 
And I thought it was a really good thriller, so picked that one up. Uh, picked up The Mod Squad, uh, which is a, a movie adaptation of an old TV show, which I don't remember that much. I don't remember The Mod Squad that much. I might have caught a couple of episodes. But, uh, yeah, wanted to try this one out, and now I have it. Uh, picked up The Bucket List with uh, Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson. Um, I can't remember if this is his last movie, or it's probably close to the last movie he did before he retired. But Bucket List, I think uh, Jack Nicholson has cancer or, or some sort of disease. And uh, he, he convinces Morgan Freeman to help him out. Is it Jack Nicholson? Oh, it's actually both of them. Yeah, both of them have cancer and they want to complete their bucket list before they kick the bucket. <laughs> so, yeah. Sounds interesting. And the last one, Arthur Christmas. Um, animated kids movie about Christmas, because, again, I'm on this Christmas kick. So, I don't know. Might be good. Might be bad. I don't know. Uh, I want to get Fred Claus. Uh, Fred Claus also looked interesting. Paul Giovanni uh, plays Santa in that one, so... That might be interesting. So yeah, that was the Movie Freak Bazaar uh, DVD pickup video. At least my part. Like I was going to do the horror ones. Uh, lots of stuff to talk about. Uh, I, I went, admittedly, yes, I, I did go a little bit overboard and bought a lot of movies. Uh, but, you know, I, I like collecting movies and I've been saving... Uh, the two weeks that I didn't buy anything for Christmas or flea markets, I, I, I saved a little bit of money. So I, when he did start selling again, I took advantage and I bought a bunch of stuff. Uh, I always like to recommend the, rec uh, recommend the standouts of the collection. And for the first video and week, uh, Star Wars, you can't go wrong with Star Wars. I love Star Wars. It's amazing, but Disney Plus has the Blu-ray editions and that literally made... Return of the Jedi unwatchable because of one scene. So uh, I'm glad to own the uh, the old DVDs. And from the second batch, Fortress. Uh, I'm recommending Fortress. It's really good. It's lots of fun. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope you are staying safe during these crazy times. Uh, things are getting a little better, but we're still not out of the woods yet. So for my part, thanks so much for watching. And stay tuned for another pickup video starring Macabro. So I'll see you soon. Bye.